आपके शरीर का हर हिस्सा हर हिस्सा एक औजार है अगर आप किसी पे जोर की मार दें बहुत दर्द होती है धीरे से भी मार दें तो इट बीन मेंटली एंड फिजिकली वेरी एग्जॉस्टिंग वेरी एग्जॉस्टिंग आई यूज टू कम टू सेट टायर्ड एंड आई यूज टू लीव इवन मोर टायर्ड दे बोथ आर वेरी डिसिप्लिन वेरी डिसिप्लिन दे बोथ आर अंडर प्लेइंग इट नन ऑफ देम वर डिस्ट्रैक्टेड नन ऑफ देम यूज देयर फोन्स ऑन सेट नन ऑफ देम दे वर वेरी वेरी फोकस्ड हाय दिस इज विद यू जामवाल हाय आई एम शिवाली कोबरॉय हाय दिस इज फारूक कबीर and you're watching us on peeping moon hi guys this is ankita you are tuned into peepingmoon.com and today we have with us vidyut shivalika and the director saab farooq to discuss about khuda hafiz and uh, khuda hafiz se shuru karte hain bahut zaruri hai but vidyut do you feel any kind of pressure because any film of yours is always synonymous with action and no matter what you and action they cannot be like अलग नहीं किया जा सकता तो तो जब अलग नहीं किया जा सकता तो प्रेशर किस चीज का हो इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ मी एवरी टाइम आई डू इट आई डू द बेस्ट टू माय एबिलिटी टू द बेस्ट एंड इन दिस केस खुदा हाफिज इज जस्ट नॉट एन आउट एंड आउट एक्शन मूवी इट हैज सो मच रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड इट दर आई नो स्ट्रेस डायरेक्टर ने कहानी लिखी उनको सब पता है उनको क्या कराना है ही नोज एवरी थिंग इज द राइटर इज द डायरेक्टर वेन यू हैव अ राइटर एंड डायरेक्टर ऑन बोर्ड you just have to look pretty hai na baki usko pata hai and right now he make you act also so he the clarity is so good that i have no pressure he knows the journey of the character from the movie go till where we reached he knows every emotion that he thinks they've gone through and when somebody is clear there's to be one person who's clear when you go on a road trip and you've got your co driver and your driver ek ko rasta aana chahiye delhi ka dusra aise baith jaye Me vaise. So, in, on a serious note, there was no stress. It was phenomenal to be a part of this, where you try and tell a story that has never been told before in India. Agni Pariksha. So, very happy. Farooq, I'll take this with you. Uh, is there a pressure on you because when the first part is successful, whatever it be in the second part, and we are coming at a time where theatres are touch wood back, we are booming, we are having, and we want films which can bring in the business to the fore. But do you have pressure from both the sides, or just a big franchise ka part to achana chahiye, or the commercials of it as well? Uh, actually, I think we've all we keep chatting about this. I think no pundit in the world can exactly tell how well a film is going to do, or how what numbers it's going to do at the box office. I'll just leave it at a simple thing that um, it's a film which has a big heart, and. Um, I I feel that there is an emotional chord that will resonate with the audience and uh, that's as simple as that. I think the the difference between these last 2 years which we keep talking everybody keeps asking ke pehli actually we are the first film um uh, which is a franchise film where the part 1 has come on OTT and part 2 is coming in yeah. the theaters. So I don't think there is any uh, as such pressure because we all believe that we'll walk out with this with respect. so how much numbers at the box office and all that we don't know god is kind like vidyut keeps saying ke it was a miracle how well chapter 1 did even on the ott so we believe in miracles i'll just take what vidyut says i believe in miracles <laughs> shivalika uh, your uh, character in part 1 it had enough trials and tribulations to uh, lead to a point where vidyut was there for this specific mission and the part 2 what i can perceive from the trailer it looks as another emotionally challenging uh part as well do you what do how do you react to it as an actor because when you're consecutively doing a character because there was no other work in between after khuda hafiz one yeah. year and khuda hafiz two do you stay connected to that character or you take breaks to break in and out of it um i feel as an actor i like to stay with uh the character uh nargis honestly has been very very close to my heart i feel she that is a character that has actually made me uh into the actor that i am today uh farooq sir and i have actually done a lot of rehearsals uh, a lot of readings uh, to kind of find uh, the emotional uh, intensity the graph of each <coughs> scene not only uh, the character it been mentally and physically very exhausting very exhausting 
I used to come to set tired and I used to leave even more tired. Um, I could cry like this. Honestly, I could cry like that. Uh, during the Lucknow scared, uh, the whole month uh, that we were shooting in Lucknow, I hadn't spoken to my parents because I was so much in character. My mom had to call me up to tell me that your sister has given birth <laughs> to twins. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I have been very involved with the character. I think she's, Nargis has stayed with me. So even after Khudafis 2 ki shooting se leke abhi tak, I actually kuch liya nahi hai as a film. Like now. You both are saying the truth, I'm saying the truth. Vidya is underplaying. You have to work hard for them. You hear it. There was one scene in the film which we were shooting in a field. Okay? And uh, have you, is it, does it make sense to you that Vidya Jamwal fainted during the performance of an emotional scene? You'd say that it happens in action, right? He literally for about 15 odd seconds just Completely, like was going and I've said cut and I'm still seeing that he's almost like falling. Hmm. And I'm wondering, ke, I've just said cut, why is he still performing? I'm acting. Kar tha. To which... Tha, no, no, his BP just <laughs> went completely low because it was a very, very emotionally intense scene. So he's underplaying it. Dono ne, dono ko karni padi hai. Ye characters are not that you come to the set pe aaja hai aur perform karne lage if you're not prepared for it. So he's just being humble about it and underplaying it. Not underplaying it, Vidhu, I have to ask you. The first one dealt with human trafficking. And then the second one where again, if I'm not mistaken, in putting it correctly, you're dealing with the kidnapping of a child. Hmm. This and the turmoil around it. As an actor, do you also like to stay connected or you take a part of a character with you always? It stays with you. I want to say two things before. I want to say two things before. There's a lot of pressure. It's like a mother who's written a script and the story. And the first picture was that you were sending it to a good school. It was to Harvard University. That is theatre. So the first was an OTT. He was like, this is good, but I want to go to theatre. Now he's coming to theatre. There's a lot of pressure. He's talking about it. And the other thing is, he's saying that I'm going to go to the house. He's also looking at his daughter's house. He's talking about it. Yeah, but she's always sincere on the set. She's like, never says hello also because she's in character. It's true, actually. It's amazing to work with somebody who has so much clarity to start with. Really. Like, when I'm on set, we, I don't think we even said hello to each other sometimes. We didn't. And it was an understanding between us. It was not, I'm in zone, don't come to me. I'm in zone, I'm also in zone. So that's something I've never experienced in any of my movies. And still the credit goes to him. Yeah. Because he used to just get us in, please, like the way he used to tell the scene of the day, I used to, I mean, I genuinely think that, let's look, I'm looking for a daughter. This is the truth. So we've had a great, great equation. No, no, us. they both are very disciplined, very disciplined. They both are underplaying it. None of them were distracted. None of them used their phones on set. None of them, they were very, very focused. Very focused. Was it your diktat or it was... No, I think, you know, we all feed off each other's energy. Col creative collaboration is that. I feed off energy, I feed off my energy. The same thing with Vidyu. It has to be give and take. It's not, it takes two to tango, no? it's one way street. Pa hai nahi. I've heard that you have choreographed an action sequence in time. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can, you, can you please kindly elaborate what is like this choreographing that completely? So, I to inform karna chahta hon, you're misinformed. I've choreographed all the action sequences in all my movies. <laughs> but this time I'm very proud to say that I have done it. I've got credit for the rest of them also. Because it involves Farooq. It was an accident that happened. Like every time I used to be on a set of any other movie, I used to come on the set and say, uh, can we do this? Should we do this? Oh my God, let's hit the head against the wall. That was me choreographing it. But over here, uh, I think we had, the director had Corona, the action director. Yeah. Um, uh, the DOP, we reached awesome Egypt. Movie. The day we reached Egypt, he also had Corona. So he said, this is the Corona to action choreography. <laughs> So he held the camera, we did everything on set. I don't know how it looks, but I want to tell you, this is how I would have done it anyway. So very proud of it, yes. Credit goes to him again. And her, because her daughter got lost. <laughs> but no, no, it was a lot of... Adding to that question, does it add pressure to you as a director also? And you as a co-performer as well. When somebody who's known for a certain style, action in this case, of course there is a lot of emotion involved, you have to up the game every time and every time you have to think out of the box and make it even bigger 
why not? audience yes, would why, love why not Africa I think we all have the sense of responsibility <laughs> that we have to give the audience a better film than last time in every aspect whether it's the action the scale of the film the performances the nuances or the relationship between the couple everything has to get better than last time otherwise what's the point to repeat what you have already done so we all yeah. come from that sense of responsibility and dedication to achieve mm -hmm. that in their performances everything and uh, vidyut is again underplaying the egypt ka portion aur kisi pe ye halat hote that your action choreographer is in quarantine in hong kong and your and your dop <laughs> is in hospital so he literally choreographed the entire thing and we came together and somehow made that challenging situation come into our favor so chivaraka you tell me because there's one is underplaying and one is very clear what is happening he's so very you, clear in life he's you, very clear you, you that way and he's very clear <laughs> what exactly was the status on the sets because considering this we're attempting right now this this was the status was on it? set <laughs> The movie, true, however true. emotionally heavy it sounds in the trailer, this looks like a fun <laughs> team play here. We've me. been like this only. <laughs> this is how it's been. I have uh, enjoyed both of them a lot this time. Yeah, apart from just being quiet uh, on set, we've had this going on throughout, throughout. No, Shivalik also adds a lot of uh, spunk and lightness on the set. It's. I'm It's, I'm a child on set, yeah. Uh, like I I honestly is this feel the like we are talking about. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I used to feel so. I hope he found her. <laughs> the music of the film has been like well perceived with the audience. People are liking the track, the numbers. Uh, when you make a film of this scale, where emotions and action we balance it, how imperative is that music should be working? Considering we are of times where suddenly, आजकल बहुत लोगों को लगता है कि नहीं भी होंगे गाने तो चलेगा but we have music in our backbone yeah. of it so how imperative is it she is the jaan ban gaye girl he is the jaan ban gaye <laughs> guy <laughs> action star not just action star romance romantic star. romantic no, softy no. vulnerable man let me just take this because it's really yeah, a nice please. one you know uh, i've been in the industry for a while now and uh, every time i used to watch somebody's movie with a big, very big production house or where people say that these are the people to work with I always wondered that why my movie is not getting this kind of music. I always wondered it is true, and then I realized that it's it's really the director's job to really find it. Otherwise, somebody else will. And I found him, and I realized that the guy has impeccable taste of music. I always wanted to do a Sufi song. You've got Sufi songs in the movie. You shot in. A Uh, Delhi has been. Yeah, we shot at the same place. Yeah, where Rockstar, Rockstar is the famous. Yeah, well, uh, after yeah, after Rockstar, yeah, after that, we shot a Mazhe song "Rubaru" there. And the part of uh, the other part of "Rubaru" has been shot with Nargis in the house because at that time their relationship is like that. So, but if I have to put the bomb here and ask, I will I, take the bomb. <laughs> I, I had the feeling while the time the trailer was coming to an end. that there might be a chapter 3 or something might no to bhi pata nahi na you have to see Abhi the film first mein nahi lag raha tha ki chapter 2 bane mujhe first mein bahut hope thi ki nahi when we were shooting it we were like chalo ye to khatam ho jaye no we didn't know we didn't we had no idea we didn't know we had no idea but are you going to like give thoda sa so thoda sa chapter third uh, i know but uh, all the, the all the people who uh, the two things i'll state here one is ke chapter 2 khuda hafiz chapter 2 agni pariksha jis tarah likhi gayi hai na even if you've not seen chapter 1 you will still understand mm. the back story yeah. of theirs in the beginning of the film the audiences and the second part is that yeah for all the fans of chapter 1 they should see chapter 2 because in chapter 2 in the end there is something which will Massive. yeah which will pleasantly surprise, surprise them so lastly with you and shivalika you both tell me why your fans who are now transiting from ott to theaters should be going and watching this what is this one thing which you think is definitely going to connect with everyone out there and it makes that big massive entertainment theatrical release tum bolna chahoge ki main bari bina kisi uske abhi tak kya aise bol rahe the uske everything is clear because you're not getting my clarity now i need your clarity aap bataiye kya bol rahe hain और दिया 
मैं ये नहीं बोल पाऊंगा कि ऑडियंसेस लाइक वाई शुड द ऑडियंस गो टू द थिएटर बिकॉज आई हैव नो राइट टू से कि मैंने कमाल कर दिया अब जाके देखो मैं जब भी हिंदुस्तान में कहीं पे भी जाता हूँ कहीं पे भी लाइक इवन इफ इट्स ऑन सोशल मीडिया ट्विटर फेसबुक यूट्यूब आई हैव ओनली हर्ड वन थिंग एंड दैट्स वाई आई लव माई कंट्री एंड दे टेल मी विद यू वी बिलीव यू कैन डू बेटर वी बिलीव दैट यू डिजर्व टू बी देयर और मुझे पता नहीं उनका बिलीफ क्या है क्योंकि जहाँ मैं पहुँचाऊँ मुझे पता ही नहीं था कि यहाँ भी पहुँच सकता है आदमी मामूली टाइप का आई जेनली एक्सपेक्ट पीपल टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू टिक गो एंड वॉच इट इन थिएटर दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट यू टू डू इफ यू से सो एंड इफ आई बिलीव इन एवरी टाइम यू से इट आई वॉन्ट सी इट इन नंबर्स पूरे हिंदुस्तान में जाता हूँ और आई टॉक अबाउट सेल्फ डिफेंस आई टॉक अबाउट वीमेन सेफ्टी एंड आई जेनली बिलीव दैट इट्स द मोस्ट इम्पेटिव थिंग बिकॉज इट्स अ पॉइंट टू बी ऑल दिस स्पोकन अबाउट एंड मुझे लोग बोलते हैं सर मैं कैसे बच्चा हूँ सेल्फ डिफेंस सर मैं उन लड़कियों से पूछता हूँ आपने कभी लड़ाई की है नहीं सर सो मैं आपको एक दिन में तो नहीं सिखा पाऊँगा बट देर आर सम थिंग्स यू शुड नो जैसे आपके शरीर का हर हिस्सा हर हिस्सा एक औजार है अगर आप किसी को जोर की मार दें बहुत दर्द होती है धीरे से भी मार दें तो सो नॉर्मली लाइक इफ पीपल आर इन क्लोज डिस्टेंस विद यू अगर आपके बहुत पास आ जाए मैं लड़कियों की बात कर रहा हूँ जो मुलायम भी हैं और कभी लड़ी भी नहीं है अगर आप सिर्फ अपना हाथ ऐसे करके ऊपर भी कर देना यू कैन ब्रेक समबडीज चिन कभी खाई है तो थोड़ी सी लाइक जस्ट लाइक दिस यू जस्ट डू दिस सो ये करेंगे सो जस्ट रेज इट इट विल प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट मैन यू कुड बी समबडी यूज फॉट इन रिंग बट इफ यू जस्ट इतना ही I'm not going to ask him because I'm going to close the interview. So you two are going to answer me. If hypothetically, Vidhut has to have a nemesis in form of any other action hero we have in the country, who would you like him to lock horns with for the part three? It's a hypothetical question before I close. Give me something here. Nice who question. you think who can? बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन है यार। No, I will ask you because he he will a very politely just let it go. उनको मेरी किसी बात का यकीन नहीं है क्योंकि मैं आज माया और अदर एक्टर्स। Okay, you first two give me and I'll close it with Vidya. So answer one, answer two, answer three. Very tough. It's the easiest question. But you will give me the last answer. First, Faruk will answer to me. Uh, you mean uh, it has to be hypothetically, nice. hypothetically if Khuda half is three is coming and you have to pick a nemesis for Vidya Jamwal and. another action hero from our fraternity an action hero hmm. anyone who can like not of action, not a woman can be a woman can be a, anyone who can pull off action equal to the strength of vidyut who would you pick wow that's uh, tough. that's very very, very tough. tough question you everyone needs to have their individual have answers then i'm saying bye match up okay i think i have go on please ritik hmm. roshan yeah too much hotness in my <laughs> too much hotness <laughs> and i want to be in the same frame so yeah you you <laughs> then the hotness got out of aag lagi dil ke baad for for you uh yeah actually i pretty much agree with shivalika uh, rithik and vidyut in a film sound like a very 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 dynamic <laughs> and exciting proposition because they have said rithik so i will close it here you know there was a rumor for the longest time that you and vitika coming together for a action based project is the rumor prepared? about me i certainly know it like what were your thoughts on it because now i have got hold of you so i'll ask you on that as last nahi aap phone karke bhi kar sakti hai main available hu always like i can answer any question i'm not scared i'm not scared will on a, like as an actor as a performer and as a co actor for vitik do you think that might be one of the most potentially like मुझे बिजनेस का पता नहीं है पहली बात तो ये लाइक व्हाई नॉट लाइक ही स्पेक्टैकुलर एंड ऑन अ सीरियस नोट लाइक आई हैव ग्रेट रिस्पेक्ट फॉर द मैन एंड हिज मदर आई लव हिज मदर टू लाइक लव शी इज अमेजिंग आई वुड लव टू वर्क विद देम जस्ट फॉर द फैक्ट दैट यू नीड टू वर्क विद पीपल विद दैट क्रेडिबिलिटी एंड माय चॉइस ऑफ द बैड पर्सन या हैज टू बी सम बैड एज़ वुमन 
because I genuinely believe that women can beat me in anything. Just give me one name and then I'll be like you. नहीं तब नहीं ये नहीं करी नहीं anybody anybody or I can't think of a name like I really can't think of a name really can't think of a name Shiba Chadda is already मैं बहुत खुश हूँ कि मेरी प्रतिद्वंदी Shiba Chadda है क्योंकि she looks wow surprise for all your audiences yeah something dynamic so with your thoughts kept his cards open there might be a female nemesis he would like to lock horns with so never say never we never know no I want to I'm not saying never I'm saying never say never. You never know who can be the part three nemesis if there is a part three. But thank you guys and thank all you. the best. Thank and you. Thank you. And I'm really looking forward which name you come up with in future. I'll be getting hold of you to get that uh, name. I'm watching all the girls. You can do good. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank you. Thank you.